Hello loves, hello beautiful family, it's Tina again, if you're new here, welcome, my name is Tina Maroa, guys, <laughs> even before I say you can hear, I'm in the village, if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back, I'm forever grateful, so guys, a very, very beautiful sunny morning here in the village, you can tell, the chicken is there, <laughs> wow, that's how the thing go, here in the village, so, guys i arrived at 6 a.m and i've been trying to sleep yo but i cannot even my face kind of swollen or something so i'm coming live from my home where i grew up so um i want to show us uh, the daily routine here in the village i want to go to the farm maybe get something to cook for breakfast and then yeah we we'll see I hope you enjoy and I hope we enjoy together my stay here in the village. Guys, I'm here. Let me show you around how the village life looks like. Those are the outdoor washrooms. The outside, the outside uh, washrooms are there. And then around here, this is our fence, our beautiful fence. The plants are growing, the wind is blowing. Uh, oh my goodness. It's so nice. So this is how people fence here. These are simple fence going to the farm. But let me give you this view here. The small view there. So guys, hey, let me get closer to a beautiful farm. You know, it feels nice to be home, especially when you go to the cities. We visit and come like things have changed. Oh my goodness, I just feel like I should come and start farming like Oh, we have even sugar cane Yeah Look, this is a very beautiful farm This is my mom's farm The avocados, there Avocado And actually my brother and my mom Oh Wow this is a guava, this is a guava tree, it's just right, right, right from near home. Guavas are small still. I don't know if this one is ready. Oh, I don't know if this one is ready. It looks small. Ah, okay. So guys, let me take you along our beautiful farm. Hey. Hey, there are free sugar in here. Mm -hmm. So guys, this is how a typical village farm looks like in Africa, to be specific, Kenya, and where I come from, huh? my village. So they plant different things in, in the same farm. Like this, we have uh, bananas. This is cassava. A small one growing and we have two types of cassava we have one for cooking this is the fence actually now this is the boundary like this is my home and then the other side is my neighbors home so let me see what's happening I've just come home this morning like uh, two hours ago uh, and I feel like I should walk around here and see what's happening. It feels so nice to be at home. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. A lot of sugar cane. The avocados. And everything. Eh, eh. Okay. There's another popo tree. It's almost uh, bearing fruits. So this is our typical, ah, typical village farm. Oh my goodness. So it's so quiet, like the kids have gone to school. Yeah, people are uh, busy in the farms. Yeah. So it's so chill life in the village. Okay, let me show you. Oh, this is the cassava. It's for a long time that I haven't seen my my family growing cassava. So this time I'm wondering. 
it's been um mine it's like I haven't seen cassava around here so see the bananas guys i don't know if i'll get one for cooking this is so big like it's one that i've given birth all of this it's like bushy like so big uh, eh? and this type of bananas have i ever seen this type of bananas is this for cooking or for ripe pink look at that look at that so big mm. look at this place This place is just near the homestead, but a lot of things growing. Like you, you can think it's just a bushy place in the uh, uh, near the river. No. So this the. Oh my goodness! These avocados. I need to remove the avocados. You guys, see the avocados right here. Like it's so big and huge. Even without without zooming, like let me see, the avocados are big. Look, oh my god, there are there some avocado trees that I grew up seeing. Uh, some avocado trees, but recently there are many, 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 many avocado trees. We used to have one big avocado tree here, but I think. Recently, there are even variety of them, like all uh, categories, like dif different categories of them. We have uh, hey, okay, this thing. Uh, I came to realize this thing is called uh, hibiscus. We have right hibiscus in our farm, guys. See, hibiscus, tr uh, hibiscus tea. Oh my goodness. I think I should drink this. Hibiscus. Look, guys. There's hibiscus. I think I should, should boil and drink. I see people, we buying these things so expensively. Like, they dry these leaves. And then they sell in, in the stores, supermarkets, and everywhere. So... We having hibiscus right here. This uh, coffee plant. Oh my goodness! Let me give you guys a tour of my family's uh, my family's uh, farm. This is uh, for those who don't know. This is how a coffee tree looks like, but it's not such big or healthy. Because uh, I know when I was growing up, the coffee seeds were used to look like big. Yeah, you know this one is small. Uh, it's not big, like expected. Mm -hmm. Papaya tree. Oh, it amazed me. Like you know, it's small, and this all of this is the fruits. Yeah, these are this apple tree, and I assume that it started bearing fruits from this coffee. Coffee, passion fruit. I know. Mm. Wow, this is a typical village farm, guys. Look, this is um, I love this type of vegetable. This is uh, uh, pumpkin, this is pumpkin leaves, pumpkin leaves, just like uh. Uh, propagating or something like a different uh, kind of things like you can find them like growing like this passion fruit is just uh, pro is it propagating or something uh, on the banana stem oh my goodness so I know I'll have some sugar cane <laughs> to eat is that sugar cane just near um Avocado tree, another like avocado trees, my goodness. Recently in our farm, it's like so many, so many. So guys, this is just a farm whereby you get like almost everything. You get avocado, you have passion fruit, 
you have sugar cane, you have coffee, you have bananas bought for ripening, um, you eat as fruits and bought uh, for cooking. Then you have, hey, I've seen pepe. We call it pili pili locally here. This one, if you are having your food, you don't need to buy. You have pepe just in the middle of from nowhere. I know there are so many here. <laughs> we have uh, potatoes. This Irish potatoes growing. We have Irish potato. Like you literally like having everything. Man. Like you don't need to buy. Uh-huh. And then we have cassava for cooking. And then this one is what? Oh my goodness. Is it millet or so gum? Millet or so gum. Guys, um I'm not sure. Let me show you, but I'm not sure to be honest. Uh, is this one millet or sorghum? Millet, sorghum? Mm. So beautiful for me. I, I'm already having one. I need around um, one for myself, even two. Oh, I've missed them. So I need to get uh, like six of them and just go and roast. And then people can eat. Okay? I'm in the village. I have to eat and enjoy things that I never get them so easily. Or you don't trust eating even in the streets of Nairobi. Like when you're in the village, you have to enjoy like every moment having fresh food and everything. So guys, I'll go. Our farm is big. Look. Typical village girl. So guys, how we do it? Like, I want to div to to give them the cows, but let me this one. You see? Now this one want to to come. I want to give this one. Oh my goodness! See how they are struggling to get this. I'll come and feed you more. I've just arrived. I'm just saying hi to you. <laughs> I'll, feed, I'll be feeding you, okay? You don't want to eat everything. And I just, I'm hungry. I want to go and see. This one here, we have three cows. Let us, all of them are called cows. Yeah, this one is a male, and we have the two for milk. That was a female. So, this bull here, I wanted to help it, but it has just tied itself in that small tree. But it looks arrogant. I don't want to risk. So, I call my brother to come and, and do it. This is how they do it, guys. Right? 
don't know if I've done it nicely. Ah, it's so hot, man. It's just 8 30 in the morning, but it's so hot. So I'm tempted like to go down the river or I just will come back. Hmm? Let me see. Guys, I'm still in the farm and I come across just near my mom's home. Uh, this farm, my mom's home. I come across this uh, when I was in at home a few months ago. Uh, they had planted this thing. I don't know. I thought like it would be like cucumber or something. But I come and found this beautiful fruit like here. I don't know. I call them fruits or what. Uh, I don't know exactly the name, but I was told like you cook with them like any type of food like they yummy, but I'm yet to test them mm -hmm. Just ask and I'm told so and yeah, it goes up like Can I zoom? Let me see. Uh, it goes like up like those Look at that They're just like uh, propagating like on this small tree and oh my god that's a beautiful farm like everything is growing here well look look at this look how it looks like <laughs> oh my goodness uh, there are two okay look at this one look how it is I don't know how it's called let's see I don't know how it's called Just a small plant. Then this have passion. Passion is not yet. It has started uh, uh, those ones. I think it will be in a few. Yeah, a small fence here. And we have lemongrass and everything. So guys, let me get home and prepare breakfast for my mom and myself. And I, I just feel like I'm tired now. <laughs> I'm hungry also. Yeah, we catch up later. Thank you for staying tuned. Those things, those fruits. Are they fruits or vegetable? I think they told me a vegetable. I'm just curious, like, yo, look at this. So guys, I'm in the farm now. Harvesting avocados. Sugar cane. Hello, hello, beautiful people. Now I'm here in the garden. I'm doing the morning routine. I've harvested bananas, uh, avocados, so big. You saw me uh, harvesting it, and this is how it looks like. And after three to four days, we'll be eating very nice ripe bananas. Yep. I'm farming. Let me continue weeding and then you see how it goes. Yeah, that's the life in the village. This one I have harvested from this place here. Just we have avocados right here and the bananas right there. Okay. I have my harvest there, but before I go home, I have to prepare something tradition to, to put here on my head so that I can carry my stuff home. Okay. Ah, let me try to balance. 
on to myself, okay? Ah, 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 ah. Oh, wow. So, guys, let me go home. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I'll pick that one when I come back. So, let me go home. Uh, take shower, relax, have lunch, and then continue with my evening routine. Guys, since I came in the morning, this is what I've been doing in the village. I've been a village just for it. So, let me go relax, have my lunch, and then go back. Maybe to wash or tomorrow. Let's see how it goes. Okay. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. Call this engata in our local language, so I don't know how you guys call it. I'm going to to put it here to help me carry my things home. Okay. Let me see how. Now I'm tired. I want to go home and prepare lunch. Then I'll come back in the evening to. I go. balance myself okay ah, 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 ah. oh wow so guys let me go home oh my goodness okay i'll pick that one when i come back so let me go home uh take shower relax have lunch and then continue with my evening routine guys since i came in the morning this is what i've been doing in the village i've been a village just for it so let me go relax have my lunch and then go back Maybe to wash or tomorrow. Let's see how it goes. Okay. Bye-bye.